All right, it's time to go over the New York Giants and figure out which one of these guys is going to be fantasy relevant for you to be able to pick on your fantasy football league. Let's look at the depth chart right here and look at the quarterback position. We see right here we have Daniel Jones and newly acquired a Drew Locke. Now, Daniel Jones coming under a lot of pressure to perform this season, right? It's just he got hurt last season. Is he a good quarterback? Is he not? We don't know what we have in Daniel Jones. We're seeing a lot of things come out. A lot of people have different opinions about this guy. Here's my opinion. I think Daniel Jones can get the job done. He's got talent to get the job done. He's just inconsistent. What 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 happens with inconsistency? Why is he so inconsistent? Is it the lack of receiving options or talent at the wide receiver position? Is it the lack of the offensive line? They lost a premier running back in Saquon Barkley this year. Are they going to have a good enough running game to take a, take a lot of pressure off of Daniel Jones? All questions we have to see. Overall, Daniel Jones gives you a decent floor when he's producing really well, just because of his legs. He gives you some rushing upside in that in that ability, and he's able to throw the deep ball quite well. It's just, it, he has structures where, you know, sometimes he's really accurate, sometimes he's really not. So we got to figure out what is Daniel Jones, right? What does he give us this season? This is going to be the telltale season. If he cock -a -doo -doo poops the bed this season, he's done for. They're moving on. I think the Giants are going to get the quarterback. If they go Shadir Sanders first round, I think they're going to rock and roll and, and have him as the quarterback for the New York Giants going forward. If they can go into the playoffs again, Daniel Jones can show some promise, then he can be the quarterback. So I, I can't wait to see 2024. It's going to be a big year for Daniel Jones. And if you're grabbing him in fantasy football, you could have some type of value for you because not a lot of people want Daniel Jones this year. Let's look at the depth chart. Check out the running back position here. Number one running back this year, we got Devin Singletary. I also have Gary Bright one, Eric, Bray there, uh, Eric Gray there as well. And then rookie Tyrone Tracy Jr. So we all know Devin Singletary. It's going to be his role, his job to have. He's going to have all the bulk of the carries in this backfield. We saw what he was able to do last season with the Texans. He can get the job done. He's not some premier fantasy football running back, but he definitely has enough fantasy value to get the job done for you. Maybe RB3, RB4 type of guy who can plug and play for bye weeks and injuries and can fill in for you quite nicely. The question we have is who's going to be the backup running back? Is it going to be, you know, Eric Gray? Is it going to be Gary Brightwell? Is it going to be the rookie Tyrone Tracy? I like Eric Gray, the running back out of Oklahoma. I think he's a decent running back. I liked him when he was coming out of college. And I do like Tyrone Tracy as well. Looking at his college film, he's very hard to bring down. He was bouncing off of tackles. He, he can get the job done as well. So we don't know who's going to be, who the backup quarterback or running back is going to be. But at this point, I really don't care. I think it's Devin Singletary's job. It's going to be mostly Devin Singletary. going to score all the points for you. And I think he's the one to have in this backfield. So we look at the, at the depth chart here. Look at the wide receiver position. we got Malik Neighbors as the number one wide receiver with Jalen Hyatt. Wando Robinson, Darius Slayton, Isaiah Hodgins, and Isaiah McKenzie. We know Malik Neighbors, the highly touted wide receiver out of LSU, got drafted quite highly in the first round. He's going to be the go-to guy. I mean, I'm talking about first, second, third down, fourth, fifth down, sixth down, seventh down, eighth down, tenth down. It doesn't matter. They're going to throw to Malik Neighbors all day long. I like Wando Robinson there as well. Wando Robinson, a good shifty type of wide receiver, can get in and out of his breaks, got reliable hands as well. He can even do some, some running plays as well. He's got a lot of little safe floor for you. Um, so I'm really liking Wando Robinson really as my second person that I would really grab out of this offense. Darius Slayton is known, uh, or at least rumored right now, to be the starting uh, wide receiver opposite of Malik Neighbors, at least to start the season as of right now. Darius Slayton, can, can he can get down the field as well. Maybe a little bit up there in age. He's got a lot of injury history, uh, but he's a good wide receiver. He's a good, solid fantasy wide receiver. If he's on the field, he can produce some solid numbers for you. Jalen Hyatt, does he take a leap forward now in this year as, as a wide receiver? Maybe kind of try to reclaim that number two wide receiver role. We're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. Let's look at the tight end position and go over what we have here at the tight end. Darren Waller, as we all know, is retired. Now we have Daniel Bellinger slotted in there right now as the uh, tight end one. We also have Theo Johnson, the rookie tight end out of Penn State. I do like what Theo Johnson gives you. Daniel Bellinger had the opportunity to be uh, the man last season, and he was just unable to get anything done to make you say, hey, Daniel Bellinger is going to be the guy. So if I had to sit here and say you right now, I think Daniel Bellinger does come out as the number one tight end to start the season. But I think overall, when it's all said and done, fantasy football wise, Theo Johnson should be the man here. Theo Johnson, a nice, tall, big body type of tight end who can get the job done, has enough athleticism to, to be very, very fantasy relevant for you. He should be good in the red zone as well. Daniel Jones should be able to have a nice big target to throw the football to and can get some things done. So if we do an overview right now of the New York Giants, we have to see what do we want for fantasy football. If you punt quarterback completely and really stack up on your running backs and your wide receivers, Daniel Jones can be somebody you can get on the back end. You can even tack him up there uh, with a Theo Johnson. You can tack him up there with Wando Robinson. 
maybe even a Darius Slayton and kind of get some type of combo for the season. Um, if you take a higher pick and you grab Malik Neighbors, Daniel Jones may be somebody you want to look at maybe to have a combo with that later on down into the draft as well. If we're looking at the running back position, the only guy I really want here is Devin Singletary. I don't want to take a stab at any of these other guys unless you're in a dynasty league, then I would either take Tyron Tracy or Eric Gray. So, uh, But Devin, Devin Singletary is the only one that I really want uh, from this running back room. If we look at the wide receivers, Malik Neighbors, definitely I want him. I definitely want Wando Robinson as well. And if you're taking a flyer, Darius Slayton uh, would be good for me. I would say just stay away from Jalen Hyatt. Didn't see enough to really excite me to say he could be a chain or, or you know a, a game breaker or a game changer uh, at the wide receiver position. So if I had just the wide receivers, Malik Neighbors, uh, Wando Robinson, and then Darius Slayton as a very deep sleeper, maybe a late last round pick, second round last round pick, maybe grab Darius Slayton for your team. And if you look at the tight end position, I'm thinking Theo Johnson. Stay away from Daniel Bellinger. Theo Johnson, somebody you can get with literally the last pick in your draft, most likely. No one's really thinking about him right now. Now, but I think if he can get there and be the number one tight end for this offense, you can see some really solid things from Theo Johnson. Guys, make sure you're hitting the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as we are pumping out multiple videos each and every week. And leave a comment down below. Are you drafted any of these Giants? And if you are, who is your favorite Giants player to draft for fantasy football in 2024? Leave it in the comments down below. Again, one more time, make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button. I really do appreciate that out. Uh, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. We'll see you guys next time.